Hey guys, this is Vuplak, and I'm going to show you guys how to run your Windows 10 games through Steam. Now, in case some of you don't know, Microsoft has been releasing some Xbox exclusives to Windows 10. But the problem is they're exclusively selling them on the Windows 10 store. Now, I've linked this article in the description by HowToGeek. It kind of explains all the problems with that. We're going to be focusing on this one right here. It doesn't fix all of them, like the no Steam controller support. I've tried it. If you do know a fix for this, please write in the comments. I'd love to know. I'm sure a lot of other people would appreciate it as well. So the problem is Microsoft hid the EXE from us. There's no executable for this game. So the only way to launch it is from your start menu. And that's about it. <laughs> now, Companies like EA and Ubisoft, at least they've deviated from Steam in the past few years, obviously. So you can't buy their games on Steam, but you can at least run their games through your Steam library. Microsoft has even disabled this because you can't add a Windows 10 game to your Steam library. We're going to fix that. First thing you're going to want to do is go to this website here. Link's going to be in the description as well as all the other information you're going to need. Download this program right here, Slim Bat to EXE. Once it's done downloading, extract it. Next thing you're going to want to do is open a command line. Next, copy this from the description. This is the only way you can access the shortcuts for Windows 10 apps. Now, it's gonna give you access to all of your applications. We're just gonna be focusing on Gears of War. So drag that onto the folder where you extracted the application. You don't have to, but that just, that just makes life easier. And you can close out of that. Next thing you're gonna do is drag that shortcut into your command line. Once that's done, copy this from, from each quotation mark and hit control C, that's gonna copy it to your clipboard. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open a fresh notepad and just paste that in. After you're done that, hit save as, and then you name it whatever you want. I'm gonna be naming it Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Now this part's important. You have to add .bat to whatever you name the program. There can be spaces, I'm pretty sure you can have, oh, I guess you can. But as long as it has .bat, that's all you need. Hit save, and that's going to create a batch file. Now, open the program that we downloaded earlier. Hit express, and double-click the batch file you made. That's going to generate an executable. Once you're done that, now my Steam is skinned. So for you, it's going to be down here in the bottom left to add a game. Next, you're gonna to wanna to click add a non-Steam game to my library and hit browse. Click the executable you made and hit add selected programs. And that's it. You've added Gears of War or any game really from the Windows 10 store onto your Steam library. Now, I like to go a bit further. I've linked the picture in the description, the one that I'm gonna be using. I like to add the, uh, the picture for the game that I'm playing because I, I like to see the grid view as opposed to the default one. And the picture will also show up on big pictures, so that's nice as well. Now, it doesn't fix everything. Uh, the Steam overlay is still not gonna work, uh, so hitting Shift Tab won't do anything. It's still gonna be borderless full screen, so it's great for alt tabbing, and that's about it. And again, there's not gonna be any Steam controller support, but if you're like me and you like having all your games in one place, Give it a try, let me know how it works. If you have anything else to add, feel free to add it in the comments. Liked if you liked the video. Thanks a lot, guys.